Okay, good evening, everyone. Buenas noches a todos. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with our questions for today. Great match, great competition by both teams tonight. Um, but we'll go ahead and start our questions with Courtney. Courtney, vamos a pre um, empezar con las preguntas con usted. Courtney, go ahead. Okay, my first question is for Sam. Um, Sam, what felt different for your team tonight than last night? I think you're muted. Sam, muted. you're muted. Sorry. <laughs> um, I thought we passed a lot better than last night. We were in system, able to run um, all of our options. Um, it just felt like we were flowing a lot better um, and easing out the kinks a little bit in the offense and making better connections with the setter hitter. Thank you. And Deja, for you, you took a lot of swings tonight. Um, how do you kind of stay patient and wait for the perfect ball to come to you before really going for a big kill or a big swing? Um, I think tonight it was all about being aggressive and not even just like thinking about that. It was like, okay, go hard for it pretty much every time. And uh, we're gonna, we were working on our connection for sure because I know Sam and I haven't played together yet. So um, finally, I feel like we're, we're on it and it just, it worked out today. Nice. And then for going into the game tomorrow, what are you guys kind of thinking um, for that final match of the season? I think it's a lot about our energy. We have some blue psycho energy on our team and we just, you know, feed off of that and continue to use it. Um, and yes, we need to be prepared for our opponents, but it's just keeping that vibe going. Awesome. Thank you so much. And then Betty, what do you feel like you and your team can improve upon for your final match tomorrow? ¿Qué piensas que um, entrando mañana necesitan a mejorar para mañana juegos? Bueno, creo que ya el último juego, por ejemplo, ya hemos perdido dos. Creo que mañana lo que nos queda es disfrutar del partido y hacer lo mejor que podamos para buscar una victoria y irnos con, con esa victoria ya en el último partido de la temporada. Um, the only thing we can focus on tonight uh, is, you know, coming into tomorrow's matches. We've already lost this weekend's matches, but just go in tomorrow, enjoy each other as a team, do well, um, and get a victory for us for the final match of the season, and just really, you know, enjoy each other's time and get that final win to end the season right. Okay. Thank you so much. Good luck to all of you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Um, at this time, we will open questions to the media on the floor. Please state your name and affiliation. So, John, we will go ahead and start with you. John Robleski from Global Traveler Magazine. My first question is for Sam. I know you played in the Big Ten. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the competition level there and about how cool it is to play with or again with and against other Big Ten players like Simone Abbott and others. Yeah, yeah. Playing in the Big Ten, I think, prepared all of us for uh, volleyball after college because it's just so competitive. Um, you know, day in and day out, you're competing against some of the best teams in the nation. Um, and so getting to play with and against them here at Athletes Unlimited has been just super special because we've seen each other through the net, but, you know, maybe have never even had a conversation. So getting to know them off the court and then getting to play with them also has been really cool. Um, even for girls that I didn't play against, but I know, you know, legends like Deja from Penn State and Lauren Gibbemeyer from Minnesota, like girls from other eras that are just unreal. So it's, it's really special to, to play with them. Awesome, thank you very much. And for Deja, um, one of the biggest questions or most asked questions I get is about your, your look. And I know uh, people love it, but aside from it being a fashion statement, it, it, it's got a much deeper reason for that. Would you mind talking a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so I have alopecia areata, which is where you lose little patches of hair. And, um, you know, I've had it since I was 12. So it was one of those things that I kind of just managed and I would get treatment for it and my hair would go back and, you know, it, it's stress induced. So playing volleyball, is very stressful. It's one of those things you just kind of deal with. And uh, after a certain point, I was like, you know what, I don't think I, I need hair to live my life. 
and I was like, I'm going to shave it. And so going through that process and being comfortable with who I am and knowing who I am, um, it just really helped me kind of blossom as a person uh, to just get rid of that excess hair. And here I am now, nice and shiny. Well, it's a good look. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And my last question is for, uh, for Bethania. Um, I know you're going to finish in the, in the upper region of uh, the upper several of the scoring. Is there anything you would have done differently or anything you could have done differently maybe to get more points or is it just how the game plays out? Betty, la pregunta es, uh, entrando este fin de semana, uh, estás una de las meras meras que estás, uh, hay de los líderes, pero hay algo diferente que piensas que quizás puedes, podías hacer más diferente uh, para pues para ganar más y para ganar esos puntos o el juego es como es y estás entrando nomás con ánimo para ganar mañana. Bueno, desde el inicio de la temporada yo no he pensado en, en, en los puntos en sí individual, sino en, en todos los equipos que he estado, he pensado en ganar. Eh, pero ya, por ejemplo, pensando en este último partido, lo más que puedo yo hacer es eh, pedir que me, que me tiren la pelota para poder hacer puntos, pero creo que no hay mucho que hacer en un solo partido. Um, coming into the beginning of the season, uh, you know, her thought process was really not to score points individually, but as a team and get those teams wins. Um, but coming into this final weekend, um, you know, she knows the importance of it. And, you know, all she can do is go out and do her best, as well as, you know, see how many times the ball can get set over to her to get those points and finish on top. Awesome. Thank you very much. And good luck to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, great play tonight, ladies. One of the best matches I've seen all, all season. So congratulations on some great plays and great execution. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with our questions. Um, looks like we had one of our media members fall off, but We'll go ahead and open the floor to our general media. Um, Mariko, I see you're on. Do you have any questions for our players? Yeah, Odi, I ask, how was your experience of your five weeks? Okay, so you're wanting the same question of, what's it like playing in such a short season, like five weeks? Um, you know, and what's it like coming in every week and playing two games? you know, a game for three days straight for the for five weeks. Um, so ladies, can you all touch up on that? Ari, we can start with you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you have to have that mentality that you're coming here to play, like, every day. Um, so, like, try to, you know, do your, like, do your job, like, try to play your style. And, but, like, the good thing is, like, try to compliment, like, which each player that, that you're playing, you know, and have like a, a lot of communications. Um, I think one of the things like it worked for me, like during the season, like I, I prepare myself like physically, but mentally, like knowing that we were going to play like every day and there was not like a lot of, like there was not like a lot of day off. Uh, but like the most is just like have a communication with, with my team, you know, try to help each other and like compliment that everybody could, you know, they could play. Okay. Taylor or Shayla, would y'all like to answer? Yes, I agree with you, Aurie. It's like a short season, but really intense because we we just have the draft day free. So it's like we are playing every day because every every week we, we change team and we have to find the connection with the players. But it's really nice. I, I, I'm enjoying the experience. Brigada. Taylor, would you like to answer? Yeah, I just agree with the other two. Um, it has, you have to have a quick mindset. You have to turn around and get out there and play hard um, and give a lot of energy. And you have to connect really, um, really quickly. You don't have a lot of time to develop that genuine um, connection that most teams have but we have to do it pretty quickly and 
we just have to have fun. You have to go out every single night and just play your hardest and do the best you can for the team. So it's fun and I really enjoy it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mariko. Okay, looks like we have um, our media member, one of our media members back on. Courtney, if you wanna go ahead and ask your questions. Hi ladies, um, my first question is for Ari. Ari, you broke the kill record tonight, getting 26 kills. Um, Carson had the record before at 25. Can you kind of tell me how you managed to connect so well with Bree tonight? It seems like you guys have really gotten a fast connection here in this last week. Um, like I've been playing against Bree like this past two or three years. And like one of the things that we, we talk about like when we started like preseason, you know, like, I know you play fast, um, but, you know, it's been like a lot of connection and communicating. And but one of the things like when we play the second week together is like, hey, be be free, play your game. Um, you're here, you're the setter, you're going to lead. So whatever you want to do, I'll, I'm going to work for I'm going to work for it. And it just remind me like uh, an old setter that I play with. And, you know, just I know that I could play in that rhythm. So just try to focus and and go strong. And then, um, you know, Team Larson knew that the ball was coming to you a lot, so they had a pretty early double block there. How did you continue to find creative ways to score and um, find the open spot on the court? Um, just playing around with the blockers and try to open uh, me by the um, opening, like, like the block, like open spaces. But, you know, I also give credit, like, to my other teammates, like the middles and other attack uh, and the opposites because, you know, they were scoring. So it makes the, the defense of the other team to think and, and then just have, like, a stable – a stable transition, like I'm saying, like a defense or a passing. So I could, so uh, I, I, sorry. So our setter, she could play freely and play her tempo, fast tempo. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. And then Taylor, kind of the same question for you. Um, how did you manage to connect well with Bree so quickly? I mean, as a middle, I feel like you guys have the least amount of room for error in terms of the different, tempo, the different tempos of the set. So what has really helped you connect with Bree this last week? Um, it's quite simple, kind of like Ari said, she sets fast and I like to run fast. So um, it was pretty much like a match made in heaven. So for anybody who likes to get on it quickly, she's the set for you. Um, but just like um, a lot of dialogue, communicating before and after, and she just, she really believes in each of her, her hitters. So when she just throws it up, she knows that they're gonna do what they need to do. And she allows the best possible chance for them to just be free and do what they have to do. Um, I also got the privilege of playing with her three times this season. So I kind of got to develop and learn, okay, this is what she's looking for in the middle or her attacker. So I was able to this this week to just kind of know it and do it, you know? So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Shayla, for you and your team, what are you guys going to try and focus on and possibly change for going into your final match tomorrow? Yes, I think they did a really amazing game today. We did okay, not good sometimes, but tomorrow we need to win. I think we are going to change our mind, to serve better. Actually, I think we serve good, but I think they pass like crazy. We need to keep keep pushing our service because this always happen uh, help our block. Mm -hmm. I think this is the secret. Okay. Yeah, and you guys managed to claim one at the end there. So did you feel like there were any large changes um, that you guys made or just kind of the way no, that went? I don't think for sure I didn't play so good this night. I just need to play better tomorrow. But I think we we can do better like a team tomorrow. And then my final question just to all of you is, what are your thoughts heading into the final match tomorrow night? I was thinking already about that, like, kind of like at the end, I'm like, because we play early. We were like the first match is like at 2 p.m. Wow. And, um, but we're going to give it all. Like, we've been doing it like this past two 
weekends. So so tomorrow everybody's gonna expect a really high intense volleyball. And you know, we really wanna finish strong. So we show it today that like, we really wanna win the game. So we try to stay focused to win that to earn that point at the last minute. Um but uh, I know uh, Team King uh, is going to go strong tomorrow. Yeah, and to kind of piggyback off of that, I think it's going to be pretty emotional, judging that we've spent so much time together these this past five weeks. Not only has it been a long five weeks, but we've kind of been in a shield together. So we've, de we've developed bonds and just close connections with our teammates and everyone. So I think it's just going to be a lot of emotions and it's just going to be who can grind the longest. And I think um, it's going to be a really good matchup tomorrow. Um, team um, Karsten Lowe's team is going to be really good and we just got to come out strong and stay focused and just really grind and keep our emotions in check and just keep battling. Shayla, anything from you? I think this, I think for sure the last match, it's emotional. It's who wants to win more. And for sure, everybody's like a little bit tired, but both teams just have to keep uh, focus to do our best match. Okay. Well, great. Thank you guys for your answers. Those are all my questions. Um, and good luck to all of you in your final match tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you ladies for joining us tonight. Uh, we appreciate you um, being on with us. Best of luck tomorrow. It is um, the final day of this great league and it has been a pleasure seeing such great play uh, from all of you. And we wanna wish you a good night and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations. Um, on your final match of the season. Um, great outcome today, great um, match, great great competition play all around. We're gonna go ahead and open um, questions and we'll start off with Courtney. So Courtney. Hi, congrats ladies on the match. Um, my first question is just what are your initial thoughts coming off of the floor with being done with the season and with the final win sweeping? I'll start. Um, initially, it's just like such a high because the group of girls that we played with this weekend was, I mean, it was fantastic. Um, there was so much trust and patience in the process and we just, we had each other's backs the whole weekend and it feels amazing. Yeah, I agree. I felt like that was the biggest team win that I felt like it was just so balanced and everyone, yeah, like just filled in for where people were struggling and when people were like killing it we were all like right there with them it just felt like never isolated like just all all of us all the time which is the funnest way to win of course yeah same I think we ended on a high like there's no better way to end the season and as I said like this team had the utmost trust in each other the confidence in each other we were always lifting each other up and we just meshed so well and so I think it was just perfect it was perfect way to end the weekend yeah, and then you guys were down in the second set and in the third set late into the game. Is that kind of how you contribute being able to come back, just that trust in one another and that patience? Yeah, when I remember kind of all throughout the, the moments that we were behind in the middle of the sets, we kept saying, like, we don't, we don't break. We're just going to keep playing steady, and eventually they'll crack and start to um, just, like, loosen up a little, and we didn't. We just stayed totally dialed in. I felt like we played, like, very consistently the whole way through and had no like real highs or lows. It just steady and that uh, I, did it for us. Uh, I, I have Aflac, so like. Um, Alex, this has really been the first weekend that you played a significant amount of time. Um, you came off the bench ready to go though. How do you kind of, um, how do you kind of contribute to that mindset for just coming and being ready to totally connect with your teammates and just being such a positive force out there on the floor? 
Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit different mindset knowing like, okay, this time I'm going to play three different uh, sets during the game. But I just love that my team had that most trust in me, Bree and Joe, uh, being able to trust me to draft me first. Um, but no, it's so exciting and to have my teammates have that faith in me as well and have no worries. Uh, yeah, it was just really amazing. It was fun to be out there. Awesome. Um, and then Brie, um, at some point during the match, you moved into second on the leaderboard. How much was that in your head coming into the final match today? And how did you kind of block out thinking about the leaderboard and the points at all? Yeah, like before the match started, I'm thinking about it a little bit. And it's I, I knew the opportunity to, to climb up was there, especially because Karsto and I were playing against each other and we were neck and neck um, once the game started like maybe one time throughout the game I thought in my head like I wonder how that's going and other than that it's just like I felt like our team was so present on the court like really keeping each other in the moment one point at a time like I felt I it was just not even a thought until the end of the game and then I was like there we go <laughs> cool yeah Awesome. And then um, give you a last question for you. I know that you and I talked earlier this week and you were talking about possibly retiring after the season. Can you just kind of touch on that for a moment and talk about what it means to go 3-0 and in your last weekend? Um, honestly, I don't know what the future holds exactly, but if this was to be my last match, I mean, what a better, what, there's no better way to go out than this. Um, just the vibe, the the way we played, the win, everything. It was like cherry on top awesome well, thank you guys that answers all of my questions and congrats again on a wonderful match thank you thank you thank you courtney at this time we'll open our questions to media on the floor john i see you have uh, your hand raised so if you want to go ahead and state your name and affiliation and then your questions sure it's John Robleski from Global Traveler Magazine. First, congratulations to the athletes on a fantastic season. I'd like to ask all of them, uh, I know it's quick early right after the season, but if they have any thoughts on what they might have done differently and if they have any thoughts on what they might like to see changed in the league. <laughs> I could say, I think for me, um, the first couple of weeks, like, it's hard to say I would do it differently because I think part of the whole process is that you get more comfortable and you feel more yourself as the weeks go on you, and you've played with some of the girls. But I think I personally could have come out the first couple of weeks a bit more um, confidence, not the right word, but just like dialed into my game and a little bit worried, less, less worried about how I was going to connect with other players or what everyone else was doing and just like doing my job really well. Um, I felt like sometimes the draft and different teams happening all the time got, became a bigger deal in my head than it needed to be. If that makes sense. Like I can just show up and do what I do um, a bit more consistently right at the beginning. I felt like I found that groove later on, but maybe for the first couple of weeks, it was not quite. Awesome. Thank you. Who else would like to answer that question? Oh, I will. Um, yeah, mine is pretty similar to Bree's. Uh, I wish in those preseason trainings that I was also a little bit more confident in myself, um, just knowing what I can do and stop worrying about what everyone else is doing and what everyone else is thinking of me as a player, worried about the drafts coming up, uh, and just showing what I'm capable of as a player and just being more confident in myself. Thank you. Thank you. Um, for me, honestly, I can't really think of anything I would do differently. I kind of came in with a super open mind and I had like so much fun every weekend, even the teams that I lost there, I found connections with people or I had friendships with people that I didn't, I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity without it. And so I just, I think I would do the same. I would come in with an open mind, be really like ready to change a uh, style of play, depending on who you're playing with and yeah, just have fun. Awesome. Thank you very much.